What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. Hey homies, so today I want to talk about this young man named Jaquan McKinley. He was also a drill rapper. Okay. Now I see that a lot of drill rappers out here are getting murdered, getting shot up. And I want to know what is going on with drill music. Now, McKinley's father, who is Jaquan's father, said that drill music is the devil's music because it's linked to murder, drugs, and all types of stuff, and guns. So, I want to know, do you guys feel that way? I have a lot of questions that I do need to ask behind this drill music because, to be honest with you guys, I didn't know what drill music was until Pop Smoke came out. But maybe I've heard it before and didn't know what it was called, but I didn't know about it really until Pop Smoke came out. And then after he came out, then it was like drill music, drill music, drill music, back to back to back. Now, a beat can't kill anyone. Okay, we know that a beat can't kill anyone. It must be the lyrics that are attached to the music. You get what I'm saying? So some of these lyrics I've heard, so I'd be like, what? Are off the chain. I'm just going to put it out there. Some of these lyrics are just crazy. And we also, I spoke about, well, I also spoke about a young man named T-Dot, T-Dot Wu. He just signed a contract on February 1st. He was a drill rapper. And he was shot and murdered. Okay? Nas Blicky. He was shot, but he survived. Okay? And now I hear about this young man, Jaquan McKinley, a drill rapper who was sitting in the car on Green and Lewis Avenue. A car came up, shot it up, and he was the one that, you know, he, he was the one that died. But he was with other people as well. Was Jaquan the target or was somebody else the target, but he ended up dying from the wounds? That's what I want to know. Like, why did they target the car that he was in. Who was in that car they was looking for? Was it Jake Juan or was it someone else in the car? That's the question. Because he left the studio around 2.15 a.m. So somebody had to know he was there at that studio. Well, his him and his group was there at the studio. And they had to know what time he was leaving. They had to have been stalking that area for a while to so just come out when they coming out when they leave in the studio they get in the car and the car roll up and start letting off like something is not right here but then also in the daily news the detectives were trying to figure out was this linked to a shooting that was that happened in the bronx okay now the studio was it was actually a rented space through Airbnb. And the detectives are trying to figure out if this if his killing is linked to a shooting in the Bronx in August in which no one was hit. But the cops haven't tied his killing directly to drill music rap scene yet. You know, and like I said, his father, he used to live with his father in North Carolina. And his cousin said he wished he would have stayed there. And his father said that drill music is the devil's music. You know, and it's heartbreaking for someone his age. He's 18 years old. He hasn't even begun to live life yet. And now his life is cut short with gun violence. It's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And now Eric Adams is talking about his death. You know, he even gave a 14-minute speech about McKinley's death. And he felt, he Eric Adams feels like he was neglected by the system. He was failed by the system. And here's what, you know, what we know about Jaquan McKinley. Jaquan grew up in the South Bronx and shifted from homeless shelter to homeless shelter with his family from the age of five. He had a cognitive disability in school and was absent for 250 days in high school with no intervention. 
The young rapper was arrested multiple times and was incarcerated before he was gunned down. Mm. Now, while mentioning the city must do more to aid at-risk youth like Jaquan early on, Adams also focused on intervention with his plan to sideline criminals and get these guns off the street. At one point, Adams posted a picture of his ID card when he attended Bayside High School. Let me just say this. There's a lot of stuff going on, okay? And in New York City, the crime is getting outrageous. Not only guns, it's getting outrageous with on the trains. You can't even ride in safety because someone is either getting pushed on the tracks or someone is getting stabbed. And just recently, somebody was sliced with a box cutter on a train. Just recently. The crime is getting outrageous. It's been outrageous, but it's at a, a level that I have never seen. Okay? And now... What Al Sharpton mentioned was these thieves are at these stores are stealing a lot of food, okay? One guy came out, he was pictured, he's walking out the store with meats. He's they're stealing meat, they're, they're shoplifting, a lot of stuff is going on. But at the same time, when you try to go grocery shopping, what's there to buy? The food is expensive. And this is not making excuses for shoplifters because you shouldn't be doing it. But it's like, okay, you don't want them shoplifting. Nobody wants to be a thief. But look at the prices of the food. Like, Eric Adams has a lot to do. He has a lot of work to do in New York City. And instead of worrying about people eating better and becoming vegan or whatever the heck he was talking about the other day, he need to get this crime under control because it's only going to get worse as time goes on. There are so many young boys to young men that are getting killed. And they're all, you know, rappers, up-and-coming rappers. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a mom to teenage boys, and I wouldn't want that happening to them. You know, so my heart goes out to the parents because they have to bury their child. And it's not right. No one has that right to just go somewhere and murder somebody for what? Because of a lyric in a song? Or are they disrespecting somebody from a rival gang? Like, it's just so much. And I've noticed that reading about drill music and all this kind of stuff, I was trying to find out where did it come from. So, I found out where it came from. Now, drill music. I don't, I didn't know it started in Chicago. Okay, drill music is a subgenre of hip hop that is characterized by a dark, slow tempo, straightforward lyrics that focus on the dangers of criminal activity and emotionless delivery. The rap style began in Chicago in the 2010s, but has since expanded across the world. Now, in London, there was, in 2018, there was a guy named Incognito. That was his rap name. He was shot. You know, well, he was stabbed to death. I'm going to say he was stabbed to death. And it was gang-affiliated. Plus, it was a rival of a postcode. But he was a drill music rapper. The style of hip-hop has accumulated a strong following in Brooklyn and is accused to be driving a driving factor in the recent rise of gun violence targeting up-and-coming rappers. So that is what drill music is. It's a subgenre of rap which is dominated by themes of death and violence. And Jaquan was a part of that drill rapper. He was a drill rapper. Okay. And I understand that, you know, in his younger years, when he was smaller, he had other issues, you know, being homeless with his family and stuff like that. But, you know, sometimes 
when people are living like that or have lived like that, they want to try to change their life around. And maybe he found that rap was going to open the doors for him and he could really live and do what he needed to do as a rapper. But you got to be careful what you rap it about. You know, you have to be careful in this day and age what you are rapping about. Because if you're rapping about drugs, guns, all types of violence, or you mention somebody else's name in the in the rap, and you're going to get them in the alley and all kind of stuff like that, it becomes a problem, okay? Even if you mention a dead rival, you know, gang member in your rap song, and they hear about it. Oh, they're coming for you. That's retaliation right there. Oh, you want to mention my homeboy? Oh, okay, we coming for you. You have to stop it. Now, I believe that you can do drill music without all that gun violence and trying to kill somebody. To me, I like the beat of drill music. I do. I love the beat. But it's the lyrics that goes along with it. You got to change the lyrics. You got to change the lyrics. Like I said, I didn't know nothing about no drill music until Pop Smoke came on the scene. And I love me some Pop Smoke music. But his lyrics also was kind of like, whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. But as for Jay Quan, I did not listen to his music. I haven't heard his music. So I don't know what type of lyrics he was saying in his, you know, in his music. But I do want to say it's just too many of these young guys dying because of the of drill music the violence and a lot of adults feel like drill music is now murder music drill music will get you murdered that's how a lot of adults are feeling so i want to know let me know in the comment section what do you think about drill music do you think that drill music is murder music or it's just the lyrics in the drill music that targets the rapper but as for jaquan mckinley he was only 18 years old i am you know my prayers and condolences to his family because he was just so young you know um i do hope they get the person that was involved in his shooting but i also feel that eric adams has a lot of work to do with not just with gun violence, with crime in general. There's so many things happening on these trains. You can't even ride the trains in peace, okay? You can't even go to the grocery store in peace, actually. Grocery stores are losing money because meats are going up and people who can't afford to purchase groceries, they are stealing the food. They are stealing things. And when you don't have money to make ends meet or do what you need to do, you're going to go out there and try to get it the best way you can. Okay? I'm for best style. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. So, Eric Adams has a lot of work to do with New York City. And like I said before as well, drill music murders is not just happening in New York City. It's happening, like I told you, in London as well. I read so many articles just a new one about this guy named Biss over there. I read so many articles about drill rappers in London are being stabbed up and murdered. So it's happening, not just in New York, it's happening a lot of places. But what can you do about it? How can you stop these drill rappers from getting murdered? Alright, so we can talk about it in the comment section, and I'll talk to you guys later.